The big dance is underway. March Madness kicked off about six hours ago right here on WUSA 9, and we have three teams in our region still competing. That's right. So we got the University of Maryland women's basketball team that plays tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We've got two teams from Virginia, James Madison University and Longwood University. They also play tomorrow night. Our Adam Longo is live at James Madison University right now as the folks there on campus are getting ready for the big game. Yeah, so ads, I guess the big question is, how's the atmosphere? Oh, guys, you can feel it. You can see it. You can you can practically touch it. Listen, the folks on campus here are very excited, not just for the men's team, but for the women's team as well. They're going to be playing actually tonight in the inaugural WBIT. That's the Women's Basketball Invitational Tournament. On the men's side, if you've heard of the NIT, it's basically a new thing, but on the women's side this year. So they're going to play tonight at 7 o'clock. So it's not just women's basketball as well. The women's lacrosse team here on campus is ranked sixth in the country. The men's soccer team is ranked in the top 20. And the football program here just played in its first ever bowl game this past December. But listen, let's talk about the team that we're here to talk about tonight, and that is the men's basketball team, the Dukes here at JMU. Take a look at some footage that we have of the team's send off here from campus yesterday and talking about this team. Listen, they are absolutely on fire right now. They have won 13 straight games. They have only lost three games this entire season, and they just finished the Sun Belt Conference Championship winning that. They are going to be facing in the NCAA tournament a team from Madison, Wisconsin, the fifth ranked Wisconsin Badgers, the runners up in the Big East Conference Championship. For the Dukes, JMU, this is the first time that they've been back in the NCAA tournament in 11 years. Now, take a look at some footage we caught from campus today. An absolutely beautiful, picturesque, gorgeous day here on the campus in Harrisonburg, Virginia. We're about two, two and a half hours southwest of Washington, D.C. We are in Rockingham County in the Shenandoah Valley, an absolutely beautiful campus here. They have a record number of applicants for the upcoming fall semester for the class of 2028, 40,000 applicants. This is a school that is definitely on the rise. So when you talk about March Madness, what is the, the tangible part about how people perceive this school now that it's on this national stage? That's what we spent a lot of today talking with folks around here about. Listen. I felt like this college, since I've been here and now I'm a senior, has been lightning stuck in a jar that just because of sports has been unleashed, not just in athletics, but in academics. I would say anytime we're in the national spotlight, whether it be for athletics or academics, um, we certainly see clicks on our web page up. We see increased enrollment. We see increased applications. Um, so those are all really exciting things that we're able to actually see um, and happen on campus. So all of this momentum building to this game scheduled tip off 940 tomorrow night. James Madison versus Wisconsin, the team from Madison. Our coverage here on campus is just getting started. I'll be back with you tonight at 11 with more reaction from alumni, from staff and from students. And we're going to also be going to that women's basketball game tonight to try to hear some of the reaction from the fans. We'll be here again tomorrow night at five and six. And then listen, tomorrow night, on our air after the March Madness coverage wraps up because JMU has that last game tomorrow night. We will be live in town in Harrisonburg where all the folks are coming out to watch this game win or lose. It will be memorable no matter what. I can promise you that live in Harrisonburg. Adam Longo WUSA 9. It's